we're doing a friend mail unboxing today from Carla. Uh, this was for Christmas, so I waited till Christmas to open it. So, Carla, if you're watching this and wondering why I hadn't said anything yet, it's because I hadn't opened it yet. So I haven't peeked through. All I did was cut the tape on it. I haven't looked inside the box at all yet. So all reactions will be legit and on camera because I feel like it's just more fun that way, isn't it? So anyway, I'm also hoping like hell the people installing our solar panels, yes, it's still going. No, they are not even taking today Christmas Day off, which is ridiculous. We asked them to and they're not. It's like, whatever. Um, hopefully I can get this recorded before they start making noise because once they start making noise, it's like too loud to even be able to record anywhere in the house. So anyway. Let mom have because she loves the bubble wrap. Um, ooh, lots of good stuff. Okay, so first we have got. Oh, no way! Okay, the Bath and Body Works Peach and Honey Almond Shea and Vitamin E Body Lotion. Holy shit, I missed out on this back when it was released. I had uh, some of the body mists from this collection and I think a couple soaps, and that was it. So I missed out on this and I always wanted it, so that is awesome. Yeah, it's a little older, but that's okay. I, I think it's still totally fine. It looks okay, so not too worried about that. <gasps> oh my gosh, no way. The matching body mist. Guys, do you understand how long I have had this as like a tracked tag on eBay, waiting for an affordable bottle to pop up? Oh my gosh. Dude, that... Spritz in the air. There we go. Oh, that smells so good. That was so worth the wait. This is gonna be like new fave. New fave. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Like, I don't think you even knew that I have been tracking that for like legit probably like four years at this point. So, maybe more. I, I don't remember what year that was released, but I want to say it's been about four years that I have had that as a track tag on eBay. <laughs> and I couldn't justify spending, like, buttloads of money on it, and they always had it, like, really overpriced. So I kept waiting and waiting. I was like, eventually somebody's gonna list it affordably. And now I can finally take off the track tag, because now I own it, like, ah! Oh my gosh, sorry, I'm, like, really stupid excited over that. <laughs> Ooh, I see more stuff. What do we have here? We have... Ooh, oh my gosh, Body Fantasies. I forgot about that brand. We've got Chai Latte. Ooh, let's... It's limited edition. I'm gonna do a little sneaky snip. Oh my god, that smells heavenly. Dude, dude. And Winter Romance. That could be anything. But it looks like it'll probably be floral. I realized I didn't show the front of the other bottle, did I? Now I did. <laughs> Sorry, I got like really excited and into it. What's this one smell like? Probably has... No, it doesn't have scent notes on the back. Okay, so it smells like... Oh, actually, I'm surprised there's like berry notes in there too. Because there's like pictures of all these flowers. I figured it's gonna be all floral. But... It's berry! Like, okay. There may be, like, floral in there, too, that I might be able to pick up on once I spritz it, but, like, since there's, like, the peach one in the air still, I'm, like, hard to say for sure, but, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm so stoked with that. And there's such cute little bottles, oh my gosh. I see rainbow. What is that? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I've never heard of this brand before. It's called Color Mates, and it's a rainbow lip gloss. So, like, does it go through different phases where it goes on different colors? Is it clear all the way through and just looks cool? Like, I'm so intrigued. I have never seen that before. That's so crazy. And glossy coverage. It might just be shiny, but you know what? Either way, it looks like, cool as hell. <laughs> my little rainbow pride self over here is like, yes! Oh my gosh, that's so cool! Ooh, what is this? Okay, so these are a body oil set made with natural oils. We have a lavender, a rose, and a daisy. Although the lavender one says lavender lily, which... 
oh, be still my heart. Because <laughs> I'm sure you guys remember how I am with the name Lily. I'm just like, yes, holy crap, that is amazing. Locking moisture with these floral scented body oils. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try those. Those look so fun. And like, it has like legit some of the, um, it looks like little bits of potpourri that's in the bottom of each of those too. Like, that's so trippy. I like that. It's, I guess, from a brand called You Are Amazing, YAA. Never heard of them either. I guess that's really cool though. <laughs> I love that there's like all these brands I've never heard of popping up all of a sudden. We've got, yes, I know what this is. Even with it like ripped off the front, I know exactly what this is. Yes, it's the honey peach, or just the honey, I guess. Not even honey peach, okay. I thought it was honey peach for some reason, but either way, that one's really good. Did I ever review that one? I don't remember if I did or not. I know I bought that one. I should go back and check, because all of a sudden I'm having this moment of self-doubt of, I don't think I did. Guys, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think I did. <laughs> like, well, now I have no excuse because I definitely have this one and the other one, so between the two, no excuses. So, oh my goodness. Wildflower honey dripping right from the honeycomb. Yeah, I know for a fact I have that. Um, I know I reviewed the Honey Burt's Bees. I have another slightly different Honey Burt's Bees that's like the rescue one with does that one have turmeric in it? It might. Either that or if it's just like a different formulation, but there's like a different Burt's Bees honey that's like a, like punched up one somehow. Like it's still in the box, but it's one that I'm going to be doing soon. So yay, all the honey things. <laughs> I see Burt's speaking of Burt's Bees right here. Ooh, we have the hand sap and a vanilla bean. Nice. You can never have too much of the vanilla bean Burt's Bees, like ever. Am I right? Like... It's such a classic flavor. I love that it looks like a little Christmas crack, but like, does it twist open? No, it's got like little rubber bandies. I was like, wait. <laughs> okay, that's so cute though. I'm not sure, have I had the hand staff before? No, I had that, the one that was like the jar, right? Yeah, I think this may be, that's crazy to think. I think this might be the first time I've had the hand staff. Come to think of it. How have I been buying from Burt's Bees this many years and this is the first time I've owned that, like, ever? That is wild to me to realize that. It's stuff like that that are, like, such basic things that, like, I see them but I also overlook them when I'm shopping because it's like, oh, clearly, I must have bought that at some point, but then I stop and think, I'm like, no, I haven't, have I? Oh, shoot. <laughs> so, what else have we got? There's Oh my god, how cute. So this is from a band called, a band, <laughs> a brand called Body and Earth. And it's a bubble cake. Crumble under running water for a frothy bubble bath. And this is in fresh mango. Guys, remember the mango summer? <laughs> all the mango things. I still love mango. I never burned out on it. You would think after all of the mango things that summer that I would have, oh no, no. I think it only made me love it that much more. <laughs> So that is amazing. I feel like I've seen bath bombs shaped like that before, but I'm not sure if this is a bath bomb or just like, um, just like scented and nice, but either way. It says two uses per bar. This reminds me of like a Lush thing, isn't it? Oh gosh, who is, is it Christina that's my Lushy that's always in my comments? Am I thinking of the right comment, or the right commenter? I. Correct me if I'm wrong, they do sell one that's something like this, right? Like, I'm not crazy, I feel like I've seen it. I've still never actually bought from Lush. I, I've, like, I've window shopped their website. I've window shopped their store, and yet I've never actually bought from them. Because <laughs> they're pricey. One of these days I will. But I'm like, ooh, like, an affordable version. Yes, here for it, living for it. And we've also got, oh. An ocean waves one. Look at it. It's got like purple in there. Oh, that's so cool. Does it turn the water those colors too? Oh, I kind of hope it does. That'd be really awesome. Bath time escape complete with luxurious fragrances and moisturizing oils. And it doesn't mention that it does, but even if it doesn't, like, it still does bubbles in nice scents. Therefore, I have no complaints. <laughs> so that is amazing. What else have we got? Ooh, okay, so this is from uh, Flavorites, which, what was the parent brand there? 
Mark Wins. So Mark Wins owns Lip Smacker now. So even though this isn't Lip Smacker branded, it's in that like same umbrella. So I kind of compare them a little bit. I don't think I had the vanilla bean. I found a couple of these in our local dollar store before, but never this one. I think I had found, it was like an ice cream flavor and I think like a mint chip one and like orange if I'm if I'm thinking correctly. They also had a coconut one that I skipped but um yeah they didn't even have this. I would have picked it up so now I own that. That's awesome. I don't know how many flavors exist in the flavorites line because not many people seem to talk about them so I don't have a lot of info on the brand other than they're owned by Marquins and they seem to show up in dollar stores so yeah I have like kept my eyes out for more stuff like that. It's just, I don't usually pop or, or pop across, I don't run across them that often. Oh, what is that? Okay, this is from Ulta. It's a hibiscus vanilla aromatherapy fragrance rollerball. Oh, shit, you can tell it's got, like, actual vanilla in there. Like, can you see that? Like, actual vanilla beans in there? That's so freaking cool! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Check that out! Oh, I'm... I might put that on later today, actually. That seems like re a really appropriate scent to wear today. Like, vanilla in general, yeah, but, like, with a bit of hibiscus in there, too. Like, just because of where I live. Like, it's, a lot of people think, like, warm, balmy climates and stuff. It's not quite Hawaii. It's, it's California. But we do have a bunch of hibiscus plants in our backyard. And those of you who <laughs> have seen the pictures know... Of the plants in our backyard, they're the ones I'm obsessed with. <laughs> Are they my favorite flower ever? No, lilies get that title. But of the ones in our backyard, they're my favorite of the ones in our backyard because they're just so fun and pretty and just festive. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so I'm so I'm like all over the place. My ADD is like off the charts today. I apologize, but uh, we have a Bath and Body Works Nourishing Lip Tint. This one is in Creamy Coral, which remember did I did I or didn't I get this one before I cannot remember for sure but even if I did like there's not much product in these so I could totally go through too easy so and that's always like a good color that's like good for like any part of the year honestly so definitely a welcomed addition we also have ooh from Beyond Belief, another brand I've never heard of before. This is the Fairy Tale Wonder Hand and Body Moisturizer. Ooh, what does this one smell like? Just lift the oil a little bit, just so I can sneak a little peek. Ooh! Now see, this one, <laughs> it's the reverse of the other one, where like, I was expecting the one thing. So this one, I think I was expecting more vanilla, just given the aesthetic of the two. Here's the floral one. <laughs> okay. Okay. That works for me. Like, I don't know with that aesthetic what I was really truly expecting because it looks like fireworks and like gemstones. So that could be anything. But it's kind of floral. Again, like, it's hard to like put my finger on what kind of floral since I did squirt the one thing in the air and now everything smells kind of like it. So I'm like trying to tell apart from that. <laughs> See, that is the one downside to when I spritz in the air. So, because it's like, well, if I'm trying to smell anything else after the one thing, mm, I kind of overrode it a little bit. That's okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. What we got? What we got? Also from Body and Earth, we have a shampoo bar in Berry Bliss. Ooh, okay. With a travel tin. Yes, okay. It has a travel tin included. That is so useful. Because of the shampoo bars I have tried before, none of them have had anything like that. So they just sit on like the top shelf in my bath, or not in my bath, in my shower. And they inevitably slide off <laughs> as they start getting smaller and like it gets slippery up there from them every damn time. So this one has a holder. I'm like, yes! Yes! A way around it. Why I never thought of just like putting a thing up there to stick them in before. It could be like a baby wipe container. It wouldn't matter. Just something to stick them in. Yeah, would it like probably get gross after all? Probably, but I mean, it's washable. But, um, never thought to do that till just now. I'm a little slow on the uptake. We, we have all established I am not the brightest bulb in the box. It's okay. But this comes with one. That is so perfect. 
so that one will be fun to try out. The ones where I don't know if they're color safe, I wait until my hair is faded. I just read it. I'm sure we can all tell I just redid the dye. So when it like fades down a bit and is growing out a little and I haven't redone it yet, and that's when I start experimenting with the other shampoos and stuff. So there's always a time and a place that I do my experimental shampooing. So I went way long in between colorings this last time because first I was waiting till my mom had finished going through her treatments and everything. Oh, I never told you guys about that. Oops. There will be a vlog. There will be a vlog. Some of you guys know already, but, um, yeah, I was waiting until she finished those and was feeling better and could help me again. And then that rolled around, and then literally everywhere was sold out of it, in person, online, and I kept waiting and waiting and waiting for it to come back in stock. I eventually had to door dash it from, like, several cities over to get it. <laughs> Did I get it in the right color? But I was like, dude, I am getting my hair redone before Christmas one way or another. I will find this color. But uh, normally I don't go multiple months like that without touching it up. I think I went like, oh gosh, I think she started that in like June. I'm six weeks of that. So I know I had it re- that means I went since like, that's how it got so bad. Last time I had my hair touched up was in June. I went like six months without redoing. That's why it looked so shitty for a while. I normally don't go more than like eight weeks. Usually it's more like four. <laughs> anyway, I am babbling for no good reason. And I don't know why. I'm just in a chatty mood. And I like being able to talk to you guys without the people on the roof making too much noise. I have like barely been able to film for the past several days. So I have missed it. So I apologize for the whole I'm talking and I can't shut up syndrome. <laughs> So we have another shampoo bar by them, and this one's in Ocean Waves, like, dude, between the two, I'm like, yeah, so we have my colors, and this one matches my bathroom, so, <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Ooh, we got some masks, I dropped the, th oh, well, first, we have another one of these, and this I don't think I had before, this is the Nourishing Lip Tint in Velvet Mocha, I can almost guarantee I did not buy that one, because I think it was already sold out when I bought the ones that I did. So this one's 100% guaranteed new to me, so yay on that one. So that's pretty cool. Is that... Yeah, it's still sealed. I was like, hey, is that a broken seal? No, it's not. Cool, cool. So then we have some Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Detox Buying Charcoal Mud Masks, which I love these freaking things. They work so well. So I am so glad to have a couple more of these. Cause I think I'm down to like one in my bathroom right now and that one that's like meant for like spot treating with the spongy thing but the spongy thing gets like really clogged up really easy. I don't think I even ever reviewed the one with the sponge tip. Yeah well spoiler <laughs> uh, I, I wouldn't recommend the one with the sponge tip because of that sponge tip being a pain in the butt but uh, but the ones with these these are wonderful and I adore them. Thank you thank you thank you. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what do we have? <gasps> we have fuzzy socks! Oh my goodness! Like, and the fact, there was no way she could have known this. Practically all of the clothes I got for Christmas this year were in the flannel aesthetic because I specifically requested it. I didn't even mention that anywhere online though, so that was just by sheer chance and luck totally matches and it's in red yes i have some fuzzy socks on right now that are also red i may swap out for these later <laughs> so oh my gosh it's so cool that is just total happenstance that that one worked out like that um i know that i wear a lot of like flannel shirts anyway so it probably was a bit of a tip off but i wanted like more of them for christmas this year since last year my sister got a buttload of them i didn't get anything of those and i was like I'm the one that's into that. She's not. And then my mom felt that. She's like, okay, next year, I got you. So this is my year. <laughs> like, literally everything down to my new boots that I just got. Even have that print. I have to show you guys. I'll do, like, a Christmas haul. I will show it to you. Oh, my God, they're so cute. They're, like, red, like, plaid, flannelish looking, um, like patent leather boots. They're shiny and awesome and a little bit punked up. Love it. Big chunky heels. My 15 year old self would be screaming. Um, and they have little rhinestone accents on the straps. I'm like, ah, 
I love everything about these so hard. But anyway, some of you guys will probably find them hideous. I think they are amazing. But anyway, so <laughs> I went off on a tangent. I don't care. Um, no, 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 no. What is this? Kaleidoscope. Ooh. Kaleidoscope solid perfume. Is this Bath and Body Works? I know they did a kaleidoscope uh, fragrance. It doesn't say Bath and Body Works, though. Huh, I wonder if there was like more than one brand that had a fragrance called Kaleidoscope. Let's see. Ooh, it smells very similar. So this might be Bath and Body Works. Let me know if it was or wasn't, because now I'm curious. I'm like, I feel like it is, even though I don't see the logo on it. I'm like, if not, that's just like really, really similar branding, same name, and very similar scent. And that's really cool. Uh, cause the solid perfumes are awesome to throw in a purse because I have had the worst luck on earth of any human alive of putting any kind of travel perfume in a purse my entire life. <laughs> no matter how careful I am, no matter what type of packaging it comes in, no matter what way I try to protect it, it never ends well. It always leaks. So pretty much the only kind of perfume of any kind I will put in a purse at this point are solid stick ones. So honestly, that made me really happy to have one in here. I'm like, yes, I have a new fresh one to throw in my purse. Anyway, <laughs> so that's a thing. What is this? <gasps> is... Okay, I have not seen this brand before. Gourmet marshmallows. Mushmallow. Vanilla, watermelon, and strawberry. Ooh, those sound amazing, especially that watermelon. I am so intrigued by watermelon. I bet that is epic. Ooh, in a faraway land where it rains gumdrops and lemonade and unicorns roam freely through candy cane fields under glorious rainbows, there's a tiny little village called Mushmallow. In this tiny village live some incredible creatures who make the most delicious mallows in the world. We call them Mushmallow. That's so cute. For some reason, I was expecting there to be some kind of like mushroom ingredient because of the name. I'm like, read the ingredients. I'm like, no, those are just like normal marshmallow ingredients. It's just a cutesy name. <laughs> um, that's funny to me that for a brand name like that, it's not even in the theming of like the aesthetic. You'd think it'd be like little like marshmallow making gnomes or fairies that live in the, uh, in the marsh, in the, <laughs> I can talk, in the mushrooms of a forest. It, like, it would work aesthetically. They could hire me for their branding. I could come up with a whole world building thing here. But anyway, these look amazing. I can't wait to try them. I am babbling like I'm drunk, and I'm not. I am on that much coffee right now. I was drinking coffee still at midnight, went to bed, woke up at, like, three something, drank more coffee, <laughs> ate a bunch of biscotti, and then had another thing of coffee, plus espresso. So this is why I'm talking and can't shut up <laughs> in case anybody's curious. <laughs> oh, we have another one. Ooh, Candy Wishes from Beyond Belief. Let's see what this one smells like. I would assume with a name like that, it might be like Candy Cane. Yeah. Let's see. wrong again okay i love how it's like totally like not fitting into any of like the expected presumed ones it's like it keeps you guessing i'm like oh but they're all good though now there's like a bit of fruitiness in that one like a hint of strawberry but like candy strawberry i'm like ooh, okay that's cool so we got that one and there's one more from there Enchanted berries. If this doesn't smell like berries, I don't know what to expect at this point. Okay. Pretty confident it'll smell like some kind of berries, right? Maybe like trees with it? it smells like berries. Okay, no trees though. I think I guessed trees because of the deep green aesthetic. It made me think like foresty vibes, so. But still, it smells like berries, therefore. I get one right, or at least half a point, because I got the berry half right. <laughs> I got the forest half wrong. Oh, we got some. Oh, look at these. Oh, we got rainbow butterflies on a holographic makeup bag. Can we just, like, appreciate the 90s aesthetic? This is, like, my childhood 
in a makeup bag right here and I am living for it. That is so freaking cute. And we, oh wait, oh, look at this one. It's in my favorite color. We got my turquoise and it's shiny. And it's not quite, despite how it's looking on camera, it's not holographic. It's not sequined. It's just the way that the pattern fabric is. It makes it look almost like big chunky sequins, which again, I am living for. But it's just like, if you look close, no, see, that's just the way the fabric goes in different directions on each one of the little, like, stones on here. So it gives the effect. I'm like, that's so trippy. Who knew it could do that effect just by changing the direction of the fabric? That's so cool. I think this one's my favorite of the three, actually, because <laughs> it's in my color and everything. And then we also have... Wait, which one did I hold up before? I think I held up this one, yeah? And we have a gold version, too. Oh my god, they're all so cute! Thank you! Oh my goodness. So there's those. Oh, we got more suckies! Oh, they're so cute! Oh, and they're... I just noticed... Aloe infused! Ooh, they're bougie! I've been kind of doing my own version of that with my socks lately just because it's been so dry and my skin with the dry air has been similarly dry. So I keep putting lotion on my feet and then putting on socks immediately after to try to trap it in there and like do a kind of like aloe infused sock that way. But these come that way so that's amazing. I love that. Oh my gosh and they're so squishy. It's so comfy. Oh, these are gonna be so cozy. Thank you so freaking much. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, and they're a little bit sparkly too. I don't know if it's gonna... Yeah, it's picking up on camera. I wasn't sure, because on the black, I wasn't sure if it was gonna pick up the light or not, but it does, so that's cool. Almost done, guys. We've also got... These are the last things in here, but oh, step to the tape on the box. Um, come on, words! Emery boards. I was like, <laughs> the, the things, you file your nails. <laughs> Emery boards. Tis the season to sparkle. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, Ooh, the one on the back is literally black sparkles. It's like a Liza Minnelli Emery board. I love that. I love that. And then, on, ah, we have more sparkles. So, so many sparkles and not enough finger. <laughs> I love that. There's that. And then the holographic sparkles. Oh, that's so cool! I am easily amused. All of it, like, show me something shiny and I will be amused for easily hours, right? So, like, it doesn't take much with me to make my day. Oh my gosh, you went above and beyond, Carla. So thank you so much. Like I said, like, it was not that I was trying to, like, not acknowledge that this was I just had not opened yet because I wanted to wait till Christmas Day. So it would be, like, a proper Christmas present. So... Anyway, hopefully you see this in a timely manner of it going up. So, anyways, that is it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it. There will be a full Christmas haul of my other Christmas presents soon. Um, I'm not sure if there's presents from my uncle on my dad's side or not. So if there is, I have to wait till I see him to find out if that's a thing or not. Since that would be the hold up. So I've, too many years I have filmed and posted the video right away, only like the next day to be like, by the way, there was one more, and it was awesome, and I didn't get to show it off. So just in case, I'll hold off on that video a little bit till next time I see him, just just to make sure. But anyway, you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits, everything and more is all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link as always is down in the description. Anyway guys, until next time, see ya!